My friends call me Didymus. It's a nickname, it means the twin. Today, we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and our God. On this day, history was forever changed. Because our Messiah conquered death, the world will never be the same. But perhaps you aren't convinced. Is it really reasonable to think that someone who has been crucified and buried could come up out of his grave three days later? Are you skeptical? Do you doubt? I do not blame you. I once too felt that all this was too good to be true. Maybe the disciples, what they saw was an illusion created by their imagination. Or maybe the stories of Jesus' miracles and everything he did, his resurrection, nothing but exaggerations and embellishments that have been added over the years. I understand if you have questions, but let me tell you my story. It all began when Jesus called me. Jesus was teaching in the region of Galilee. And he began to gather disciples around him, people who would follow in his steps and learn from him. He chose unlikely people to follow him, not religious leaders, not Pharisees. He chose ordinary working people, like fishermen. He even asked a tax collector to follow him. And he chose me. There was nothing special about me. But Jesus looked at me and he said, follow me. Twelve of us followed Jesus for over three years. We sat at his feet, listening to his powerful teaching. He taught like no one else, as if God himself had given him authority to speak. We saw firsthand how he loved people. Social status meant nothing to him. He cared about rich people and poor people. He cared about righteous people and sinners. His compassion even extended to Gentiles and Samaritans. We saw firsthand his miracles. The power at his hands. He healed sick people. Blind people could see. And lame people could walk. He took water and changed it into wine. At his command, evil spirits departed. He took a boy's small lunch. And in his hands became more than enough for 5,000 Jesus walked out on the surface of the Sea of Galilee as if it were dry land. And he calmed storms with his command, Peace, be still. At his word, even his friend Lazarus was raised from death to life. And we saw his miracle and heard his teaching, there was no doubt in our minds. We knew that Jesus was the Messiah, the promised son of David, the king of Israel. But not everyone loved Jesus. The Pharisees and Sadducees were threatened by his popularity. They, they were threatened by his teaching and worried about what might happen if the Romans should decide that Jesus was getting out of hand what if they stamped out all of Israel? What if they did something to the temple? At the peak of his popularity, Jesus came into Jerusalem. <clears throat> and the crowds gave him a kingly welcome. As he rode in on that donkey, they shouted, Hosanna! Hosanna to the Son of David! And we disciples knew that it was almost time. Soon Jesus would become king. And he would drive out the Romans and our land would be our own. And here we were at his side. We would be a part of God's plan to restore Israel. But the Pharisees and the Sadducees plotted together. And Judas, one of the twelve, betrayed us all. It happened so suddenly. 
In the night, soldiers came carrying lanterns and torches and weapons, and they arrested Jesus and took him to trial that night. They found him guilty of blasphemy, claiming to be equal with God. The punishment, death. The next morning, Pilate, the Roman governor, authorized Jesus' execution. His soldiers took Jesus and they beat him and they mocked him and they forced him to carry his cross to the hill called Golgotha. There they pierced his hands and his feet with nails and they lifted up his cross. Jesus hung there between two criminals, his arms stretched out and there he died. The soldiers made sure he was dead. They made sure each one of them was dead. They broke the legs of the two criminals. But when they came to Jesus, they found he was already dead, so they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers took his spear and pierced Jesus' side, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. Jesus was dead. Joseph of Arimathea, who secretly followed Jesus, and the Pharisee Nicodemus talked with Pilate and received permission to take his body. They wrapped it in spices with strips of linen 